Tonight, from CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. to kick off for Seattle. Their meeting in Super Bowl 49 was thrilling. What's in store here? The Pats and Seahawks are underway. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. And they'll be led out by a late signee this year. Their 31-year-old quarterback, it's Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile. That's when you know everything is clicking. That means he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game. And his team is having a whole lot of fun because when they score a touchdown, some fan's going to get lucky and get the game ball. Sony Michel, his first carry, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. A shotgun snap for Newton. Looking left sideline, incomplete. To the side. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. And seven from the gun. Here's Newton. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. 10-10 at their own 26-yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 26. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Brings up second. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. This is Carson. Gets by him, and now a little daylight. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. Face mask. Defense. You got to stutter. Hell, man, come on. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands, having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. 20! And finally taken down at the 15. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Two yards the loss, second and 12. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a quarterback blitzing and run support and tackling the runner for a loss. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Chris Carson has proven to be a workhorse for the Seattle Seahawks, and they continue to expand his game. We know that he can run inside and be a bruising type of a player. But he has surprising speed to the perimeter, and they've expanded. And he will not be denied into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Russell Wilson, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Seahawks have taken a first-quarter lead. Well, there's a sight that fans were used to seeing a little bit more earlier in his career. Just three rushing touchdowns last year for Russell Wilson. He's had as many as six in a season. I think he's a lot more selective, a little more judicious about running the football now. 
but still scares the heck out of any defense when he decides to tuck it and go. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. On the return, it's Taylor. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At their own 28-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. can see this quite a bit on running plays where the guy's out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right, because it's away from the play, usually. So a lot of it goes undetected, but I know this will surprise you. I took some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. They want to take that course. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. The Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. It's the veteran K.J. Wright, the disruptive force. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. And some room to maneuver. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Touchdown, Seahawks. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody find someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone, and this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Cam Newton and the Patriots set to go again on offense. And now, Charles, this becomes a pretty important second drive for them. They're already down a pair of scores here in the first quarter. As you noted, they're down two scores, and to me, they're down a possession or a service break if this were tennis, right? Because they just gave one up. Only their second drive now. Run their offense, try and get back into the game that way, and then look for some help from their defense. I'm trying to forget about that pick six last time out. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. No gain on the play. And it's third down. Newton on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Yeah, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. They told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their... Well, the ball is 
his help. Michelle lost it. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. They'll take over first down. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions. Then he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. He sacked. The sack there by Rasheem Green. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Out of the gun, Newton. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are gonna take over at the 39-yard line. by the defense. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. He lets it fly for Lockett. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Devin McCourty picks it off. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is? It could be for the game the way that they... And he loses the football a second time, and the Seahawks have recovered. And now three drives three fumbles what's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slip yeah. and he finds Lockett in the end zone touchdown Seattle Tyler Lockett there to make the grab and the Seahawks add on to their lead Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past me. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now 21 to nothing. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. A loss of eight yards. It's third down. 21-0, our score after one. With the score, Seahawks 21, Patriots nothing. Third and long, it's Newton. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. Uh, they had the big play on the fumble return. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. And I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point? But after a play like that, you talk about the one-two 
punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. Time for our players' spotlight, and it focuses in here on Cam Newton. And boy, Charles, they have to find a way to just get him some time to breathe back there. He's been pressured throughout this game. And I'll bet in his mind he's thinking the focus shouldn't be on how many times I've gone down. It's where is it happening? Where are the breakdowns up front? He'll never say it publicly because good leaders don't do that. But they've got to figure out what's happening in the offensive line to keep people away from him so he actually has a chance to throw the football because so far that has not been the case. Five full sacks against him. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and ten. On the ground, this is Michelle. Number five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. And that one not going to have enough height on it. Down around his feet, it's incomplete. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Returnable for Lockett. A spin. An excellent return that time. 26 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start... And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. And he'll hand this to Michelle to get things started. And he'll get three up to midfield. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No points for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Intended for Muhammad Son. New England on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and seven. From the 50, Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And the Seahawks have recovered. Brandon, that's the third time he's fumbled so far in this game. And, you know, you can make excuses for each and every one of them. But the bottom line is, he's got to take care of it better. And now that he's shown a propensity for fumbling it, just think about what the defenders are trying to do. Yeah, well, guys hate one fumble, twos. Oh, my goodness, three or more. Wow. Just doesn't make any sense, does it? First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Here's Carson. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one. Huh? And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. At the 12 -yard line. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. On third down, it's Carson. And he will score! Touchdown, Seattle! A 12-yard touchdown run. And this offense continues to pour it on. Great call to hand that one off. And his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play. And guess who benefited? The guy with the football. Myers connects on the PAT, and the route is on here in this first half. J. 
Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Getting set to go again, Mohamed Sanu is marching back onto the field now. Looking down at the stats here, realizing he has no catches. They targeted him twice, but no catches. So how do they get him more involved, Charles? You make sure he touches it on routes that he likes to run. Maybe even run a reverse or some type of a jet sweep so he gets his hands on the ball and get... And oh, my goodness, he loses it again. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think they should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll tussle for and this is going to be caught. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. At the 17-yard line. He'll find Metcalf. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good catch there by D.K. Metcalf. And when he came into the league, we were all impressed by his physical attributes. Looked like he was chiseled out of stone. This guy's body is one that we all... And he will not be denied. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Chris Carson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. And he'll bang that one through. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit maybe featuring other people touching it for a while, and then you've got a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. To throw again on second down, Newton, that is.